वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट लेसन नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट इट बाय इंपोर्टिंग आवर मीडियाज टू दिस पैनल प्रोजेक्ट लेसन थ्री राइट सो टू इंपोर्ट मीडिया राइट द कॉन्टेंट्स टू एडिट राइट जस्ट डबल क्लिक हेयर राइट यू कैन डबल क्लिक हेयर यू कैन डबल क्लिक लाइक दिस राइट कैंसल इट और यू कैन गो टू फाइल एंड देन यू कैन क्लिक इम्पोर्ट ऑल्सो राइट You can click import the same location, or you can do Control I, right? Control I in the keyboard, right? And we are again getting the same location, right? So right now I am doing double click here, right? Double click. Now let's import uh, some of the video clips, right? Okay, I am in the folder, right? Select your folder where your video clips are located, right? Then. Uh, you can import single clip also right for example this one right just click it and then open right click open you'll get that right and let's double click again here and if you want to import next video right just next two videos right for example this one and this one just select those right you can click one video and press control in the keyboard also and select another one right so in this way you can import bulk import your clips right let's open that importing files right you can see here generating pic file for this file right let it finish that always right so we have three videos here right or you can see three clips here right video footage here in our project lesson 3 panel right when you are initially running premiere pro and importing videos then uh, you will get like this right thumbnail view right or you call it icon view right sit down here you can see icon view right this is the icon view and this one is list view when you click that you will get the list view right so when you go on working in premiere pro then someone likes to work with icon view and someone likes to work with list view right it depends on the how much contents they have here in the project panel right so since this is the beginning class beginning course so let's switch to icon view right so here is the clip right we imported that right next to project panel you are seeing timeline right timeline drop media here to create sequence now let's create sequence just click this one right click and drag here and then drop right see you got your video clip in the timeline right and it automatically creates the sequence name you are seeing here z02204 that's the video name that's the clip name right this is the video right this is the video this one right this one and you are seeing here this is the sequence right when you move to this uh, list view just click that and you are seeing this is the sequence right uh let's close this one right notice here let's close that right now timeline is empty now right so where is our work we imported one clip in our sequence right and we closed that and it will remain here look this one is the sequence double click that right look we got our video clip here right so in any case if in case you uh, close this one right then you can go to this uh, project panel then you can saw the sequence right this is the first one initial sequence and we have clip here right here and we can also create a new sequence right for that go to file new then sequence right or you can also press control n for new sequence just click that then it will ask you something right sequence presets right and i have set it to dv and tsc wide screen 48 kaz right just move with that for now 16:9 then click it now you notice that sequence 01 now there are two sequence one is initially that we created this one and another one is second that we created just now sequence 01 so uh for example 
this is one video clip right this is one video clip you are editing right and depending upon the situation right you might need next sequence to edit next any uh, for example this video right you can drag it here right now notice when I drag and drop then it will say something this clip does not match the sequence setting change sequence to match the clip setting then change sequence setting right click that change the sequence setting what happens when you click just keep existing setting for example file new sequence right click sequence 03 right now drag the same clip here notice drag and drop uh, earlier we did change sequence setting right but for now let's do keep existing setting now you notice that video right when you go to sequence 01 we are getting our full video right but when you move to sequence 03 the video is in zoom format right zoomed so this will be the issue right we can solve that we can solve that but uh, that will be in next lesson just don't worry about that right now close that sequence 03 and also delete sequence 03 from here right see here to delete that sequence 03 just right click that right then clear you can see here clear we don't need that right now and sequence one also we don't need this right now click uh, close that and sequence one delete that right so you in this way you can clear the sequence worst garbage sequence right so let's work with this one sequence right now so we got the video here right so just move a left side and see here uh, this is the video one right this is the video one layer uh, that's track and audio one you can see this audio this audio is related to this video right video one and audio one and depending upon the situation right depending upon the project you are working on we need uh, our contents in video two also and video three also right contents like uh, next video or contents like next image or logo or text right we'll do that later on so you can import right from double clicking here or by going to file import right uh, similarly the same process is for importing audio clips right you can get the audio clips import uh, you can also import the images this is the same process just go to the folder and click that and open right so this was about uh, getting your video in the project panel and getting your video in the timeline and this was about the basic about the sequence right uh, this was it for this lesson uh, stay tuned for next lesson